Congratulations. 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 Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> I'm going to that, right smash there. like. <laughs> that right there is now our advertisement. <laughs> I'm just cut Great. out the like, comment, subscribe. It's just gonna be that. Damn on that bell. <laughs> <laughs> Damn right. on that bell. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, welcome to Heat Wave. My name is Brian Belcher, and I'm with. Chris, it's the Hutch Hutcherson. <laughs> I Ch- grow my hair with chia. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Mitchell. My beard is 80% chia. <laughs> and Brittany Saturn. You think this is real hair? <laughs> <laughs> and Great. <laughs> as you can see, uh, we are just uh, fixated with chia today. Uh, but that is not our first topic. Cheers! What's our first topic? Today? Darn! <laughs> How about that for Man, you? Man, you're just way. doing I'll some be great back later. Sagan. Some good old. I love Sagan. Sag away. <laughs> All right, citizens. What do you think is going to happen when the internet goes away? <laughs> like, oh, let's man. imagine a world where where uh, the apocalypse is not <clears throat> happening, but the internet goes away. Well, it might be an apocalypse. Like, it could be an apocalyptic event, but if yeah. just the internet went down. I think the internet going down could cause an yeah. apocalyptic event. Mm-hmm. You mean just, like, immediately goes down or something that kind of slowly, like, boop, 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 goes away. I was places. thinking just went down, like, bam. Just went down. Like, yeah. right now, like, the internet just went out. Yeah. And no one knew what was wrong or how to fix it. No one could communicate. Right. I think that the well, world that would be, be part of it. in fucking they chaos. Couldn't... We would so be able to communicate. Most cell phone lines are actually using the same infrastructure as the internet. <clears throat> mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. that could be a part of it is that we wouldn't be able to connect, like contact each other. So yeah. right to now, figure, mm-hmm. I think the only way for that to really happen is if someone did two things. Mm-hmm. Uh, a, we had all of our satellites go crazy and mm-hmm. that situation that happened in that right. space shuttle movie happened, mm-hmm. which could easily happen. Yeah, there's a lot of space junk up there. It's thanks, China. Ba- thanks, space debris in general is a bad situation. And they'd have to sever the big international cords that go across the oceans. That yeah. has happened, though. Yeah, but not to- Not all of them simultaneously. Yes. But Dolphin w- terrorists? No, somebody dropped an anchor and it landed oh. on one of them and severed the line. What yep. are the chances? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Yeah. But it's, I mean, it's it's a legitimate thing. Mm. Like, we think of the internet as this ever-present thing. Yeah. But. Well, we remember life before the internet. Yeah. <clears throat> and it was way different. Um, yeah. That being said, most of our jobs depend on Yeah, it I was going to say, I think yeah. all four of us would be out of a job. All mm-hmm. of our financial yeah. transactions would get would yeah, not. I, d- I haven't used cash in a long time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, there like, are some places that don't even accept cash anymore. Either. Yeah, <laughs> it would take a huge effort to because I mean all this you know bank banks you know keep track of money digitally. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, the effort in like you know making sure that you know how, how much money someone has like yeah. you know I mean that's going to be a huge issue. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I'll have to go back to newspapers to find out what theaters have my movie <laughs> I want to see at what times. Yeah. Like, like a play. Wow, I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. I you could that call them, time. too. Well, I used to call them. I don't want to risk talking to a person. Phone? Yeah, you call movie phone? Movie phone was a thing, wasn't it? No, yeah. I don't yeah. Know what it was Oh, called. yeah, yeah. I would just Where call they the... just slowly read out all of the movies <laughs> in the play I would call times? the theater and bother them and be like, what movies are playing? And then they would tell me. And I'm like, what times are is that particular movie playing? And right. they'd have to tell you. <laughs> so there was a time I remember that time period. Now, your theater probably still doing that. Yeah. My theater only had three movies, so yeah, my so... theater was a little different. <laughs> yeah, um, the, the, the Mayberry one, I had to... Uh, it eventually caught up and had we, like, the automatic well, stuff. Well, they, they did, but like you had to call them like outside of like their working hours yep. because otherwise an actual person would pick up and then you'd have to ask and it's just like and oh. there was only one person who worked there yeah yeah so the thing is is that uh, after a while i believe it was like 2000 they moved over to a point where they just had you had to listen to their whole spiel of every mm-hmm. movie yeah, time and that. then be able to talk to someone nice what it's if a- there is an, a movie emergency? Well, I so the only reason I know this is because our good movie friend cops. Tanner. 
worked at a movie theater. <laughs> okay. So huh. I would call him. Did you just like to hey. chat? Yeah. Well, like What's back playing? in the day when people actually talked on <laughs> the phone, I would be like, "Hey, I know you're at work right now, but yeah. we're going to do this thing later. Do you want to come or something?" Yeah. Shit? There's yeah, a yeah. lot of bleak shit that we can talk about with the internet going down. Essentially, <clears throat> Fight Club yeah. happening, mm-hmm. uh, a whole bunch of stuff. But really. I think we should just talk about all of the dumb shit that the internet has killed <laughs> that we'd have to go back to. Like, yeah. talking to people on the phone, like plebs? Yeah. yeah. I would, yeah. yeah. Having to actually go to the restaurant to get your food. <laughs> and not oh, using, like, no. Uber Eats or calling a taxi cab to come get right. you. Uh, and I'll, you have to know the address of where you are so they could, like, physically I, be like, let me find you, you know? <laughs> I legitimately have never used a taxi cab until, like, apps existed for it. <laughs> yeah. Blockbusters will make their Come triumphant back. return. Yes. Yeah. So, Lord Blockbuster <laughs> returning now that the Netflix demon has been slain. <laughs> Uh, we would, so I had to do this in high school because I was fucking a loser and I had a flip phone in 2008. Um, but my friends and I took a trip up to, uh, Williamsburg, I guess. Um, and I drove and used my stepdad's trucker map, Mm -hmm. uh, to get to the city. And then once we were in the city. Is a trucker map like hobo glyphs? Um, no, it's just broken down really by big. state. It's really big because oh, okay. it has every single like little side road oh, okay. and main highway and everything. Just and you'd have to like, Google you'd have maps. to map it out yourself and be like, okay, when I hit like this highway, turn onto this highway and go this way. And so you have to pay extra attention like when you're driving. Uh, cause I really had no idea like how long it would take me to get there. <laughs> so right. it was just like, I don't know. Let's see what happens. Uh, and then once I got to the city, we had printed out map quest directions to our hotel which were really terrible i um, like that you didn't print out map quest directions to the for the entire trip yeah no because i i remember my father <laughs> in like 2013 or mm-hmm. something we were going somewhere and we like road tripped together and he'd printed out map quest and i was like all right, all right, pops. MapQuest is like notoriously was wrong a long yeah. time. It would be like turn to left and you needed to turn right. <clears throat> mm-hmm. So I don't know. I think we kind of knew then that MapQuest was bullshit. <laughs> uh, so we, like, none of us had smartphones. Yeah. So I just used my stepdad's trucker map to get us there and it was perfectly <laughs> fine. But once we got there and we had to MapQuest it, then that's when all the trouble started. That's we when you had to it. stop and ask for directions yeah. like oh, a yeah, cave that's the person. Other thing. It's like asking people for directions and stuff because mm-hmm. you don't know the very last time that i used a map to get somewhere instead of using my gps and my phone i was going to a friend's uh college uh in the middle of the night with like the with uh their little brother and whatnot and we drove off and we stopped at this random gas station and uh while we were in there this uh kid ran in covered in blood <laughs> and we were like holy shit what's going on and then like 30 more people came into the very tiny grocery uh, gas station. Were they also covered in blood? No, they were after him trying oh. to kill this person. And I had oh, me and our Jesus. person, uh, me and my friends just got in a car and we didn't pay for our gas and we left. And, uh, and you just witnessed a mountain murder. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, it wasn't a mountain murder, but <laughs> a valley murder. Oh, yeah, it was me. definitely a valley murder. Oh, okay. Um, I just assumed you were driving <laughs> in the mountains. So it's really like that. <laughs> As a person from the mountains, Brittany so, understands what a mountain murder is. Uh, but yeah. He's not like us. Get him. <laughs> he rats with his left hand. <laughs> well, the person who was bloody was black. Oh, man. Now oh, you make me look God. an asshole. <laughs> but so it's everyone else. Okay. So <laughs> like the other thirty people trying to get a It's only too. funny when it's like white mountain people. Yeah. It was not funny. <laughs> it was a terrible situation. Yeah, that sounds distressing. It was yeah. extremely distressing. So after that, I had a phone with GPS and I used it. Mm. So I haven't seen a murder since. The last time I had to stop at a gas station and ask for directions was when my phone with my GPS on it died. Ooh, that's Do you feel like bizarre. a big old horse's ass, though? Like, now asking for directions. Yes. People are like, don't 
just use your phone. Yeah. And the person looked at me like I was insane. <laughs> yeah. Because they're like, why are you talking to me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Text me any questions you have. <laughs> uh, I only respond to TikToks at this point. <laughs> So I went in, I asked them for directions, and they were like, I don't fucking know. <laughs> and I was like, okay, cool. I'll take a phone charger. <laughs> yep. They, they got the sale. Yeah. So I'm trying to think about, like, what other aspects that we would well, do. Like, it would fuck everything our, up. Most oh, yeah. of our entertainment it comes from the internet. Yeah. yeah. Even so, like, the movie theaters download the movies. Yeah. And yeah. So it's like, what would we do? Like we could, we have a lot of video games we could play. I yeah. Guess. I'm coming over here. If that apocalypse occurs, yeah, because I have lots of things. you have, have, have or Hutch's house, like mm. analog stuff. We have a lot of books. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Got great. a lot of great selection of video game movies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and good movies. Hutch has yeah. the movies. Like I, you were the only person I know still buying movies. Yeah, that's true. Well, Steph, my lady friend also does. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. But she's buying, like, specifically, like, movies that she loves. She's not buying, like, a whole bunch of just movies, though, right? Uh, somewhere in the middle. Okay. Yeah. yeah like, Hutch just buys, like, a lot of well, Hutch like, is just like, a movie exists. One, please. Well, like, growing up, my family, like, we just bought a shit ton of movies. Like, yeah. we'd go to the theater, we'd watch a movie mm-hmm. if we liked it, which we probably did. We would just buy it when it came out on VHS. <clears throat> yeah. And so we just had a shit ton of movies. Yeah. Uh, and then my uncle used to record movies off of HBO. Yeah. <laughs> so I had mm. all those like mixed tapes yep. of like random ass movies. We used to buy used VHSs from the Hollywood <laughs> video. Mm. Perfect. Yeah. Which was a good way to get some weird shit. Like my mm. copy of Strange Brew was from there. Mm. Same with Top <laughs> Secret. Yeah. So in Mount Airy, we had one video store that had all like recorded from hbo (laughs) like they were and my favorite thing was like they were all like those vhs's from walmart that you could get that you Mm -hmm. could record over again and again and again so people did Mm -hmm. and would fuck up these movies (laughs) all the time so sometimes you'd rent something and then for like 50 cents and then it come home and you get like half of a movie and then half of like someone's Porn. Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> Perfect. That happened to me two times. So that's, oh. a, that's a really interesting point, though. So if the internet were to go down, our friends who have downloaded every movie in the history of the world, they're opening video stores. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So Just we have a couple going, of friends. They like have that. a copy of human like history. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, then, okay, well, and here's that, the question. That's, that's a reassuring thought because what about our if, friends who downloaded porn? Okay, yeah, that's oh, my other yeah. question. I'm like, if the internet went down, what would we jerk off to? Ooh, like, do they still make porn magazines? I Is that still a thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> not good. No. I recently not went good. to a porn store, and there are still porn VHSs or like mm. DVDs. Um, but they are wildly variant in prices based on how new or interesting they are <laughs> yeah. or how fringe they are. Oh. Yeah. The fringe is a really big part yeah. of it, yeah. I but can totally see like anime being distributed by VHS again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll go back to it. We'll yeah. go we'll have we'll go to anime cons that will be advertised in magazines mm-hmm. <laughs> in order to swap tapes with someone else and get uh, the that's how I watched season. a lot of anime yeah. at first was going to those like viewing places like, like I go to anime cons now and I'm like why do we have these viewing rooms now like who's mm-hmm. who's going to watch yeah. these things when I can watch anything at any moment it's right. just something you do while you wait for the panel that you want to see stars. yeah yeah <laughs> well, back, like back in the day but back, back in the day yeah that's how you, you watch need somewhere it. to go to air out your kigurumi and <laughs> My first anime con, one of my friends, I never could find him because he was always in the viewing areas. So and you I was just like, off, no, off in the no, room. he was just like legitimately interested. And I was just like, what's wrong with you? Yeah. <laughs> we have, like, you, my house, I was the only friend who had this. I had broadband internet. It's like, just come over and mm-hmm. download it. Mm-hmm. And he was just like, oh, okay. But I'm here and it's playing now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I, yeah, so I used to be phys- a big physical, like, uh, movie person. I used to be a big physical music person. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then when I got my iPod, I uploaded all of my physical CDs to, like, iTunes. Yeah. But now I just play Spotify. I just yeah. pay for the yeah. Spotify premium. Mm-hmm. So many services. And we've got 
I've just got a new computer and my iTunes library is completely empty. Wow. Um, and like you, I had, dude, you haven't downloaded any programs onto your computer. You have Google Chrome and that's pretty, and that's I pretty have much it. PC, that's how she gets her porn. I have PC Stitch <laughs> and I also have the Adobe Creative Suite downloaded. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> She's do got you, the basics. Do you have the Discord yet? I need. No, I'm not downloading Discord. I can use it in the web browser. Oh. What? Yeah, I don't use that stupid Discord app. It like opens up every time you log your computer on. And mm-hmm. That app is heavy too, because yeah. it runs Mm-mm. each instance of like Room as a separate instance of the service. Mm-hmm. Does it really? Yeah. Oh, so does Slack. That's why Slack sucks. Yeah, I don't God, have Slack. Is so power hungry. Sorry, that's a yeah. separate thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's our next topic. <laughs> how, start... how power hungry is Slack? <laughs> Garbage yeah. apps that have taken over our lives in weird ways. God damn, that's that's a fact. Thanks, um, Chrome. But but yeah, like I now I don't even I really mean, own music anymore. Yeah. Um I've kind of lost all my purchased music in the void of just like switching computers and devices and stuff. My my dad did that too. He used to have a phenomenal record collection and I think in like 2012 yeah. he just digitized mm-hmm. all of it and sold all the records. Mm-hmm. Um and now in retrospect like I realize he did it too early. Like he should have waited until early. like the the just record resurgence. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, I probably made like 10 times as much. So one of the reasons I still buy movies is that it, it gives you a much like higher. So so the bit rate's higher. So the uh, picture will still be a lot clearer. The sound will be crisper than it's if a better you, than, experience. Yeah, because we have everything like, you know, that's streamed is compressed to so save on bandwidth. Mm-hmm. So uh, that's 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 one of my things for doing I mean, that's that. the main reason why we when we talk about streaming video games, I was like, yeah, OK, yeah. we'll see. Down yeah. the road. Do you yeah. want to give this one another five minutes? I don't care. Uh, speaking of streaming video games, I was I hooked up Google Stadia again yesterday because uh-huh. I was rearranging everything, and it's a lot more serviceable. Okay, I was playing. I was I was playing. <laughs> That's th- what I want to hear about <laughs> streaming service. I was, yeah, yeah, I was playing Thumper. It's tolerable, and 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 it's it's definitely playable. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Following review of uh, stream video game service over here, Google Stadia. You can play games on it. Yeah. yeah. Legally. But no, I definitely think to close out, I guess. Um, we would be in complete chaos. Yeah, we'd be if, fucked. Oh, really yeah. Know. Yeah. I, I, I honestly, like, I can't imagine. Like, there would be important issues that would be a problem. Uh, but and then there, would there would also be, like, be... tedious convenience things. Yeah, yeah. So that you don't want to complain about, things. but you really want to complain about. Yeah, they would be mm. super inconvenient, but, yeah. yeah the convenience factor is just like, oof. Oof. And it's also this... I assume it's not a rip on like kids these days are so. No, like, I was more thinking about the, the TV show Dark Angel. <laughs> oh. What was that I, weird I Johnny that. Depp movie where he's the like, network? No, he gets uploaded to the uh, yeah. internet. I forgot what it's called. I, I don't know either. No, but right. like one no. large electromagnetic pulse could wipe out a significant part of the internet infrastructure, and yeah. we would be deprived of all of these comforts of life and. For me, the thought of like building back from where we'd land after an occurrence like that mm-hmm. to like whatever the future looks like, that's a weird for me to think about. There are six different sites on the planet that download the entire yeah. internet uh, every week. Yeah. And when they, so like we have backups. Yes. So yeah. there's that. We I do feel like as the, long as, but if that storage is cloud based storage, mm-hmm. then. I feel like though, if there was a true person of chaos out there who was like, you know what? I'm going to fuck up everything and be like the internet terrorist. A chaos gem And they world. went around <laughs> and they strategically like attack these places yeah. that downloaded the internet and also cut the internet from. Yeah. Uh, like a country or whatever that they yeah. wanted to attack, that would be a really great way to cripple that country. Yeah, would we absolutely. be able to go to war now with without internet? Only, I don't think so. It would. I wonder. It would be it would a lot be more harder. boots on the ground rather yeah. than drone strikes well, and, and stuff. I, I think part of the thing though is that we've much like with uh, we've lost the ability or we've we don't care about going into the grocery store anymore because we can just do the app and and get the groceries delivered to us. There are whole other things that we've just lost, like abilities to interact with the world. Mm -hmm. And I can't imagine that 
I can't memorize the, phone numbers anymore. Yeah, yeah. I can't imagine that the military industrial complex is prepared to not have the internet. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Cause I think our soldiers are just trained differently. Now. Yeah. Yeah. There it's not world war one where yeah. they're just trained, like dig hole, mm-hmm. do this. They're yeah. like, all right, get out, get out your GPS and look through this monitor and yeah. use like this button when you're ready to fire the missile. You know, it's not, it's like, now you gotta go kill a man. And maybe you lose your weapon, and you're going to have to fight a man now. <laughs> you said that with a weird amount of respect. Like, good, honest killing. So, in the movie Transcendence with Johnny Depp, they uh, actually have to fight him. Mm. They have to fight the internet? They have to fight, basically, the internet. We have to and, outrun the internet. And they have these, like, weird things that they can, like, block off the signal from getting to them and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And they go to, like, 1940s, like, military equipment that they still have functioning and shit. <laughs> that, is, that is, like, like air gapped. Like a Gatlin, or, yeah, yeah. Gatlin gun or whatever. Yeah, shit, <laughs> like shit. a crane. Yeah, yeah. It gets wild. So, like, it's wild, actually, wild so, west as far as, like, as far as... Uh, it's a they, steampunk spider. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, it's like 1940s World War II equipment fighting nanobots. It's bizarre. Oh, oh wow. wow. You should... Transcendence I, I want to watch movie. this now. I've never seen it before. Transcendence was a good movie. I just want to watch uh, Lawnmower Man now, though. Mm, yeah. <laughs> no. yeah. All right. <clears throat> well, great. <laughs> We're going to watch Lawnmower Man. Bye. <laughs> No, we'll be back in a little bit. <laughs> also, uh, on the note of Wild Wild West and the giant steampunk spider, uh, you should, everyone watching this should go and look up Kevin Smith's uh, <laughs> Superman Return story. Yes, yeah. it's great. <laughs> which has a weird intersection with Wild Wild West. Yep. yep. Bye. 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 Want to see us perform live? Use that big brand of yours and follow us on Twitch. We do things live there sometimes. Let's talk about our favorite field trip memories. Mm. These can be good or bad because I have a good one and a bad one. Mm. I'm also weirdly interested to see, because we grew up within a hundred miles of each other. Yeah. I, I'm how really... How different our field trips were? Or how similar. <laughs> okay. Mine were probably pretty similar. Because I grew up in... Okay, who... A, we all went to Washington. We all DC. went to DC. Yep. Eighth grade. I did not. Did you not go to what? DC? No. Okay, well, this is a question then. What uh, year field trip did were you, you in eighth grade? Was it around 9 11? Uh, yeah. I think I would. No. Fuck. So. No, no, eighth grade, that was. that was. Um, You're my age, so you were not. Because, yeah. like, I was in yeah. tenth grade during 9 11. I, so, I think it was in, like, ninth, uh, I was, tenth, I think. I was in the eighth grade in 2004. And because it was so soon after 9 11, even though it was DC, my school debated whether or not we should go to DC. Yep. And it was a toss up between DC and, like, the beach or something. I like was that. in the eighth grade when 9 11 happened, and we didn't have that. So, we just went. You just went anyway? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like, we canceled my senior trip um, because of 9-11. I didn't Where have a senior... Where was your senior trip? Our senior trip was supposed to be like Europe. was like yeah. or something? <laughs> no, we were supposed to go to oh, Europe. Okay. Wow, you were going to go to Europe on your senior trip? Yeah. Fucking, my senior trip Mayberry. was Carowinds. <laughs> well, and I didn't get to go because I was suspended for putting the word fuck in the yearbook. We'll talk about that another time. <laughs> so, I didn't go because they just ended up going to the beach and it was like... Granted, I had a small graduating class of, like, I think it was, like, 80 people. Yeah. But, um, regardless, all of the people that did went were, like, 20 people, and they were all people I didn't like, so yeah. I didn't go. Mm. Makes sense. There's one person I liked, and I saw her all the time, so whatever. Okay. I didn't want to go to the beach with a bunch of bullshit people. Yeah. You want no drama. I don't think my school ever did any, like cool like field trips i mean like high school anyway like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. like it, the people who were going on badass field trips were the band mm-hmm. like they went to disney world a number of times and I, they kept talking about all these awesome stories it's just like well never did shit yeah apparently that's where all the fan <laughs> the fun was so um i'll um so one of my favorite ones was um going to the zoo mm-hmm. uh, okay. zoo was always like a kind of a frequent one i guess mm-hmm. um but yeah, I just went with some friends and um, like they had uh, like chaperones, I guess. Um, they had a chaperone with like 
this older couple, mm-hmm. like like grandma, grandpa old. Um, and um, our group, we just kind of like splintered off from them and just kind of <laughs> went all around and did everything. And eventually we made it to the end of the uh, park and got reunited with them. But yeah. it's just kind of funny. We kind of went, went rogue. Wow. <laughs> that sounds awesome. It was great. Yeah. yeah, that sounds cool. I had to stay home during our zoo trip because I forgot to get my parents to sign something. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. If Your Brian is attacked like... by aminals. I was the four kids. That stayed. Mm. Oh, see, like my school was small, so we did have some kids who would forget their permission slips, and the teachers would just call their parents and be like, <laughs> "Can so and so go on the trip? You can just give me verbal confirmation." Yeah, and then the kid would get to go. That wouldn't hold up in court. <laughs> Probably not, but. Also, at the same school, there was a deer that jumped across our chain link fence and got his leg caught in it and broke it. And they came out and shot it. And then we had deer for lunch the next day. <laughs> what? So, this is the same school. This so. is fucking wild. <laughs> oh, God. Also, our well went dry and they had to dig us a new one. And we went to school for a whole week without water. We weren't allowed to go to the bathroom, uh, which is a huge this health This is code. in the United States. <laughs> yeah. Whew. Uh, so yeah, and we were like, why are we going to school without water? Because we were older. I think I was like, so it was kindergarten through eighth grade, so I was yeah. in middle school at the time. And we were like, why can't we stay home from school today? And the teachers were like, because the Board of Education, so they can tell a difference between a kid who went to school 180 days and 175 days. <laughs> Wow. And I was like, no, they can't because the last week of school we learned about boat safety. We lived in the mountains. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's enough about that. Let's talk yeah. about filters. <laughs> Let's watch Remember the Titans some more. Yeah. <laughs> so my my uh Washington DC eighth grade field trip, we actually got those like really kick ass buses and whatnot. Yeah. And we went up and I became close friends with a friend that I didn't really talk to, mm-hmm. but he was always at like the spend the night things with like Joe Browski yeah. and whatnot. And he was my roommate, and we had two other people in our room that we both hated, so we just kind of, like, became the buddies of the trip. Yeah. You just held each other tenderly and well, Eskimo Well, I, I learned something very intimate about him on that trip, and that he has no bowel control. <laughs> um, oh, no. So, on the way up, he shit his pants. Oh, oh no. no. And then when he got there... He shit his pants and clogged the toilet. Oh, oh no. no. And then every every time we went out, every single day of the four-day field trip, we went someplace. He would shit his pants. That kid needs some fucking pull-ups. <laughs> and then <sighs> he shit his pants on the bus on the way to something, and he had to go take off his underwear and like throw everything away and he was just roughing it for that for our tr- our, our trek around Arlington funeral my favorite no, uh, Arlington, Arlington Cemetery. Cemetery oh gosh my favorite is that you probably were like his like buddy he would come back and be like well I'll shoot my pants again <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, I, was. I was absolutely that guy and um <laughs> my favorite though was like the one day he didn't shit his pants were you proud of him I don't know because he completely left me that day <laughs> He was like, don't need you anymore, sucker. I'm on my own now. We were at King's Dominion for the last day of the trip. (laughs) Yeah. And I was out of money at that point because I didn't understand money. And you bought like 45 pairs of fake Oakleys. (laughs) (laughs) No, that brings me back to D.C. No, I bought a giant pencil at the Jefferson Memorial. And um, oh, I'm going to write giant letters with this. And I bought DBZ trading cards at the mall, <laughs> Pe- Pentagon Mall. Nice. Oh, my God. <laughs> and I ran out of money and couldn't buy food. <sighs> oh, no. And other people bought, like, snacks for me. Brian, you're my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you're marrying. <laughs> so that was my DC trip. Um, so one of, my, one of my coworkers is about to take like chaperone one of his kids okay. uh eighth grade dc trip oh, God. and one of the things that i noticed <clears throat> is that i don't know about y'all but it was like five to six kids per one chaperone or parent yeah now it's two kids to one chaperone really? or parent oh okay wow that's yeah, kind of nice yeah it sounds way greater. It sounds nice for the parent, not right. for the kid or for yeah. the chaperone, not for the kids. Because, you know, you get away with some crap if your chaperone oh, is like, yeah. busy. Yeah. So one of my favorite trips that I went on, it was in high school and it was a club trip. I was part of the art club. Uh, and so every year we do a really big trip on spring break mm-hmm. and we would like do fundraisers the entire year to pay for it. 
I'm dropping my phone. Well, my freshman year, uh, we went to <laughs> Santa Fe, New Mexico. Whoa. Um, that's awesome. Yeah, it was really cool. So it was several like legs of a trip. So we took the train and we went up to Washington, D.C. Mm-hmm. We only had like a three hour layover there. So we saw some museums and then we got on the train and went up to Chicago. And we were in Chicago for three days. And then we got on the train again and went down to Santa Fe. Wow. Uh, and it was, we saw a lot of art museums because it was the art club. Um, but we How just long of a train ride was that? Um, so the other one, so like to DC was only a few hours, yeah. and then from DC to Chicago was I remember it being pretty long because the Amtrak shares lines with like the freight trains. Yeah. So everyone has to stay on a schedule. So if you're ahead, it's not like yeah, yeah get there sooner. No, we have to pull over and wait for like the freight liners yeah. to uh, pass. And these Amtrak, like it's awesome, but they also break down a lot. Yeah. Like, I remember waking up when we traveled from Chicago to Santa Fe. It was like we started out at night. So we were sleeping most of the way through. Um, And I remember waking up in Kansas City because we were just parked and the AC had went off. And it was like I woke up because I was sweating because our train had like broken down and they were trying to fix it. And we were stuck in stuck in Kansas City for like an hour (laughs) in the middle of the night. (laughs) Jeez, I wonder if that's like a super North Carolinian thing, because like. A lot of my middle school uh, field trips involved trains. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. this was the only one I went on that okay. was train related. Well, because we took Amtrak from Winston to Raleigh to go mm-hmm. to like a some museum okay. or something. That's cool. Like, the only time I've never legitimately been on a train. Mm. I've only ever hopped on a train in Tampa. Yeah. I've been on the have you been a Tweetsie Railroad in uh <laughs> Okay. <laughs> well that's count- the only train I've been <laughs> if we're on. counting that then I guess the Disney World train. I've been on the Disney did, World did train. Did any of you ever go no, on their Amtrak go mm. to Tweetsie Railroad mm. as a like a field trip? Yeah, in I, kindergarten yeah. that was my class field trip was I, Tweetsie I, Railroad. Man, I really want to go to Dollywood. Weird. I want to go to Dollywood too. Nope. Well, let's go to Dollywood. I think we should do a special episode where we go to Dollywood. <laughs> okay. Great. We're going to have to get some uh, a fifth person a ticket. You're mm-hmm. the cameraman. You no, know, I've been to Pigeon Forge, but it's in Pigeon Forge, right? Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. A lot. And we never went to Dollywood. Really? That's bullshit. Yeah. yeah. Your parents have failed you. <laughs> so we have. Well, there's friend. like so much other shit to do there. It's like, I never felt like I was missing out on anything. Mm-hmm. So we have a friend who goes there often. Yeah. Um, and she just loves it. So. Yeah. Because Dolly Parton's a national treasure. She, mm-hmm. she is. She really is. How much time do we have left? You got five minutes. Five minutes. Sweet. I have enough time to talk about. No, the, we're going to add more time because the, I've got more things to oh, talk okay. about. <laughs> this was the worst slash most interesting trip I went on. This was also at the art club. Oh, boy. I know where this one's going. So we uh, we used to take like little monthly trips um, that were not very expensive. They were just you know very in the area. We yeah. went up to um, Ash County. Mm-hmm. It was called the Ash County, or no, 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 no. It was called the New River Zoo. Uh, and we were like, okay, oh, no. we'll see what this is. And me and my best friend at the time. We and this were, is with the art department. This is with the art club. And our, I just have to mention, like, I love the art teacher, but she was fucking crazy. Um, she was just a really eccentric lady. Um, she was really awesome most of the time, but sometimes she would just do some weird shit. Yeah. Uh, so she organized this trip. And me and my best friend at the time were like, okay, this is looking pretty sketchy. Because we turned down this, like, unpaved, like, dirt road <laughs> in the middle of the mountains. It's, like, in the forest. And we pull up to this, like, little parking lot. Uh, and there's this huge gate, like, that's locked. We can't get in. But there's this, like, old 80s silver car parked out front with, like, old pizza boxes in it. And someone had scratched <laughs> fuck you into the side of the car. <laughs> <laughs> and we were like this is off to a great we start. were like really cool um and britney was like yes this is art yeah, <laughs> yeah we were like this is art so this man comes out he's wearing like this plaid like like vest without <laughs> sleeves and like a purple shirt underneath it and he's like hey everybody come on in and like he was just a really creepy dude and it was the most saddest like if you ever see those people who collect like exotic animals and that's essentially you were like in his backyard and it was all these like exotic animals and like cages that were just like way too small like honestly oh, no, we no. should we should look it up and if this place still exists we should probably try to get it shut down i'm pretty sure it is shut down we t- we talked about this a while back ago is it? And you looked it up and it got shut down i'm what not was it sure called? 
the New River Zoo, I think is what it okay. was called. But yeah, it definitely doesn't need to exist. Um, Jeez. but like we had, it was like these emus, like in this little muddy paddock where they had like cut down all the trees, but there were still like all these stumps and rocks, and it was just like really terrible. And we go into like his snake house, and he has like a cast iron skillet that's like turned into a clock hanging on the wall, and just like old TVs stacked up. It was just like the weirdest shit. And then we go to like this monkey cage, and he's. Got <laughs> like all these bananas and he's like look at the banana and the monkey is like just won't look him in the eye it was just like the worst trip what is i have ever seen Jeez. i actually have some pictures that i took um it's we can throw them up if you can find them yeah they're on my facebook uh, oh i took them i took it with like a film camera so some of the pictures came out blurry but like me and my friend were just like we have to document this we have to remember this forever because it was like the weirdest shit and i think the guy's name was like ken or something mm-hmm. i don't remember did you um, have like a tiger thing? <laughs> Weren't there like sad tigers there? No, he okay. didn't have any like Jeez. big cats. He didn't have any sad tigers. He he had like a bunch of reptiles. He had like a monkey and like some emus. Okay. Like or maybe there was like a I feel like cheetah you told me about or a jaguar a or something that uh, really cat of some kind. yeah they really didn't like them. Uh, and there were like <laughs> these little um gosh I can't remember I think there were Keith like Stroud Jr. Yeah, that's his name. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Is there like a police report for I, this guy? <laughs> I have been holding this giggling for a minute. Okay. I just Googled the New New River Zoo. Let's hear it. Uh, this is from a website called insurancejournal.com. Mm-hmm. NC's New River Zoo can reopen after biting incidents. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> And that is from June 22nd, 2007. Oh, well, that was right after we went because it had to have been like 2005, 2006 when I went. Because, yeah, you graduated in 08. Yeah. A Coda Mundi escaped and bit a five year old boy. What's a Coda Monday? Is that like a it's monkey? A, me- like a, a small member of the raccoon family oh. with a long <laughs> ring tail. Maybe it, was maybe it wasn't part of the zoo. tested for rabies. Oh, no. Oh, no. He said it was the first time an animal had escaped in the 10 years he had animals there. The zoo was <laughs> shut down in October when a leopard bit a woman on the arm when she tried to pet it. Yeah. That was the thing, too. That was the thing, though, is they had these animals in, like, the bar cages, and you could walk up and just put your hand in yeah. if you wanted to. Like, yeah. it, it was just not kosher. And at the time, I was a kid. You know, as a teenager, I mean, my friend were like, haha, this is funny. This is fucking weird and terrible and funny. <laughs> uh, and it was probably also like a survival mechanism to get through it. Yeah. Um, but looking we back. Are, we are trapped in this situation. Looking back as an adult now with like a smartphone or whatever, I'd be like, no, this place needs to be fucking shut down. <laughs> like, I fucking hate those like little people, exotic zoo. Yeah. Like, I have a cheetah in my backyard, pay me $5, you can look at it. Like, I yeah, hate yeah. those. Um, but, but yeah, so I just wanted to, I'll, I'll show you guys some pictures too later and you, you can throw them up on screen. All right. Yeah. Too, send, so. send them to me. <laughs> well, let's follow that. I, I can't. I, I can. <laughs> like mine's nothing. My shittiest, uh, experience was that when we went to DC, we didn't spend a full day at the Air and Space Museum. Mm. I was pissed when that happened. <laughs> I was so angry. Also, they had a Star Wars exhibit there, and I was really into that because, like, episode one just came out. Yeah. 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 Um, So, after thinking about it, just I should preface, no one should ever do what I did on this trip uh, because it was really (laughs) stupid. Um, But anyway, so, um, in high school, my senior year, um, they had, uh, one of the clubs had um, kind of these, like, test competitions you Mm -hmm. can do um so i took one at the uh, state level um and i thought i was not going to do well i just kind of guessed through a lot of them uh and i got second in the state oh wow Um, what was the (laughs) test uh it was on technology concepts but it was a lot more like what is a computer (laughs) (laughs) i remember one of them being like was an atm or something like that um and stuff like that. That is an ATM machine. <laughs> what, I feel bad for our I, state. I think one of them was on there that said automatic teller machine or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, but it was more like hardware type concepts that okay. I'm less familiar with. So, um, uh, 
Aaron used to joke, congratulations, you got stuck in the uh, state guessing g- g- uh, uh, yeah, test. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. anyway, um, but that let, uh, made me eligible to take a trip to Dallas to compete at the national level. Mm. So and uh, weirdly enough, this was in my senior year. Mm-hmm. Um, so I graduated school and then uh, flew to Dallas with the teacher to compete uh, in Dallas. Um, uh so I did have a friend uh, who lived in uh, the area. She was actually in Fort Worth, um, and uh, it was um, from a um, like a kind of like a picture rating site. You know, I had a bunch of like friends. Oh, that, hot, or hot or not? not? It wasn't hot or not. It was called uh, Pick, how, Pick Rave. Um, oh, I know that one too. It's how I met. Um, so uh, Josh, aka Inside Manure, mm. I know him from that. Like, oh, okay. ASL. ASL, yeah. Oh my god, that that's a whole nother topic right now. Sixty nine, <laughs> <laughs> but I don't look my age. Um, so you had a friend. So I had a friend, um, and uh, one of the excursions that we could do is to like you know go to Fort Worth. So we did, um, and we went to this ranch thing. Um, so I was just going to meet meet her. We were going to just hang out there. It's just like this weird kind of cattle ranch like place, and then she was like. Yeah, this place sucks. Let's go. I was like, oh, um, uh, but yeah, so I was like, okay, whatever. <laughs> so, so we left. <laughs> we went to go grab uh, some like lunch at like um, this other restaurant that she works at. Uh, and then um, we got back, um, or, or rather, we were on the way back, got caught in traffic, and the, the, uh, the tour was leaving and I was not <laughs> there. And my teacher is like, where are you at? She's like, um, I, we actually left for a little bit. We're on our way back. And she was like so mad. She called my dad. And my dad <laughs> called me. And he was not happy. Um, so eventually, the, the next place we were going to was actually like we're literally right across the street from this ranch area. Um, and no one was happy when we got there. Um, and, but eventually, you know, the trip mellowed out. Um, so you almost ran away from home mid trip. Yes. Cool. Got it. <laughs> How would it look? But you didn't actively do it. You yeah. you just kind of shrugged your way into running away from home. <laughs> I, have, I have a question. Yeah. Did uh, was she hot? And did anything come of that? Uh, no. I mean, okay. well, no. 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 I wasn't sure she, if that was a situation. She was you, a real yeah. dog. She, she, that's that's that was what that, I was because like, like hot or not. That was the narrative that I was building in my yeah. head. Yeah, she, yeah. She was cute. Um, but it was not going to. Nothing was going to come of that. Okay. Like, you know, got it. Yeah. She was just she was just a friend, uh, one of many that I chatted the with. The real them. question I have though is, what did you place on the test? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nationally. <level>. Nationally, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he was right. just so embarrassed that he was like, "I'm just, I'm gonna walk away." Yeah, I'm just <laughs> like, pull my uh, name out of the hat. Yeah, it's like I actually forget this whole trip. Uh, <laughs> but otherwise, Dallas was really fun. <laughs> <laughs> it was really like this. Um, we were at the um, oh god, it's the same place where they have uh, QuakeCon. Um, Quake Sylvania. Yes, mm-hmm. Adams Mark. No, Adams Mark Hotel, and like they had like like a direct connection to a freaking skate rink next to it. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Um, but yeah. Anyway. That was a weird trip, and that was my weird experience. Anyway. Hmm. All right. Hmm. Well, I think we got some weird vacation. Uh, yeah. Weird I just want to mention really there. quick that I got offered meth by my best friend <laughs> on my eighth grade field trip to Washington, D.C. <laughs> it was the first night there, and she was like, let's party. And then, like, we smoked some cigarettes for the first time. Mm. And That's a hell of an upgrade. And then she pulled out <laughs> yeah. some meth. Cigarettes, you were like, I'm meth. being rebellious. And she yeah. was like, let's jump this shark. Yeah. And then um, we like took a bunch of puffs from our buterol. Like, uh, we all had asthma. So we were like, let's like. <laughs> ch- let's smoke ch- cigarettes. <laughs> and do steroids. And it made us all really hyper. So we were like jumping up and down on the bed. But our teacher was like knew that we were smoking in the room because we were because you were smoking in a smoking hotel in a room, hotel room. Um, we o- cracked the window open but we like just tapped the ashes on the carpet and rubbed them in with our feet <laughs> oh. uh, and then uh, we got in trouble for that and they luckily didn't send us home uh, but we were really bummed out for the rest of the trip uh, and then we were at the mall the next day and this uh, guy approached us and asked us if we wanted to be whores basically he was like we'd be a nice place to live It'll, we'll, we have a pool I'll take 
take care of you. You almost come got with, human traffic. Yeah, he was like, come with me. And we, it was the three of us and we all screamed, no. And he was like, whoa, it like scared him. And he like ran <laughs> whoa, away. Whoa, sorry. I was yeah. just, and he like ran just away. trying to be a friend. But yeah, I, we were propositioned to become uh, women of the night. You could have been a Dracula. <laughs> wow. <laughs> And we said, no. <laughs> Thank I, you, sir. And you ever I'm thought glad about you did. You ever thought about being a, a bat? <laughs> this is a food court. <laughs> <laughs> sir, this is a Denny's. Sir, this Please is a leave. Food court. <laughs> I'm 12 and this is Denny's. <laughs> <laughs> no. There there were kids on our trip to Raleigh um, for one field trip uh, where they were snorting pixie sticks. Oh, yeah. And I don't. I don't know. I never got yeah. that. Was that supposed to make you like hyper? No, or some no, shit? no, no. It's just no. fucking kids being just, idiots. Yeah. Kids being kids. Kids, being kids have always been dumb. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. But all right, Brittany. I think you won. Yeah. yeah was, On multiple levels. I was here. trying to win, but <laughs> you did. I don't know. My school is wild, man. All right. Good old mountains. <laughs> Mountain schools take me there. No. No. Bye. 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 You got the social medias? We got the social medias. You got the Facebooks? We got the Facebooks. You got the Twitters? We got the Tweeters. We got the uh, Instagrams? We don't really use that one too much, but, you know, we're on there, too. If there's something else, we probably got it. You can find them all in the description at the bottom. Welcome to Food Club. Jairus, I'm so excited. We've got we've got <laughs> Girl Scout cookies. More of them. More Girl Scout cookies. These so- have different names than the other ones, but I'm going to guess the same flavors. <laughs> so, the, actually, that's the kicker. A lot of people swear that these versions taste better now i have a feeling the uh gluten-free option that we have is not going to be that so do we have are these technically all all the same that we had last time there's different different. names i swear to fucking god hutch if you make (laughs) us eat do side-by-side comparisons of all of these cookies i will push you downstairs (laughs) he's like surprised he pulls out another box (laughs) actually all of these are different well, I did, I did think about doing a surprise soda club in the middle of this where I make you guys drink Mountain Dew uh, zero, zero sugar, but but I also didn't want to do that at all. That would so. be super delicious next to all these cookers that have lots of sugar. Yeah. Like. Then all our teeth would fall out. Yeah. Well, I, I want to try the lemon ups. Yeah. Because so you said the lemonades are my favorite. You said that they're like, you're saying the recipes are different? They're completely different cookies. Yep. Um, shout out to our friend Josh uh, in Sabanur. He, um, the, the, we are supporting uh, his uh, girls' uh, trip for this. So. That's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We should probably go ahead and oh, put yeah, that on. The... Put on 15 on top. There we go. Mm -hmm. All right, so here are the lemon ups. Here you go. As you can see, this is not a shortbread cookie with a bit of lemon on the bottom. Oh, so this is. It looks like it's got a little bit of lemon glaze. Oh, cookie. Mine says I I am gutsy. Mine says I am bold. I'm a go getter. I'm creative. All right. That's pretty good. Yeah, I like the lemonades better. No, I like lemonades better. It feels like the same thing. Yeah, it's a lighter cookie, but this one. The lemonade or a shortbread cookie with lemonade um, flavored stuff on the bottom. Like frosting on it. But this has it, too. It's just it's a lot lighter of a coating. This is a sugar coating instead of a frosting coating. Mm-hmm. Mm. Well, are these shortbread? Mm-mm. No. These are lemon cookies. Mm-hmm. These are like the whole cookie tastes like lemon. Mm-hmm. Mm. The other one's just a shortbread with a lemon frosting. Mm-hmm. So, okay. These are different. different. Okay, yeah, they are different. Yeah. So, that's fine. Well, on that one, I think I prefer the lemonades over those. Mm-hmm. But what do you guys think? Would you prefer the lemon? What are these called? Lemon ups. The lemon, lemon up. Lemon mm. up. Do you I, prefer that over the lemonades? I, 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 I vote for lemonades. I prefer it when they were sandwich cookies. Probably, right. probably lemonades. I guess. I mean. They, they they taste the same to me, but they taste the same. But I think they're just different, direct like different process. Yeah. What else is okay? We got the peanut butter ones now. Yeah, dosy dough, dosy crunchy dough. oatmeal cookie sandwich filled with creamy peanut. <coughs> okay, so it's a peanut Oreo. Yeah, wonderful. And these are way different than the peanut butter ones we had because the peanut butter ones we had were like chocolate mm-hmm. covered. I think we have those also there. Um, no, I don't know. Oh yeah, All right. Tagalongs. But the okay, so we don't have anything that That's compares remotely to this. Like this. Yeah, this is a brand new cookie. Hmm. 
This is a dipping cookie. Yeah. This seems like something an old person would enjoy. This is a, this is a milk or something dipping cookie. Mm-hmm. I would say this is a nutter butter for old people. Mm. Yeah. Nutter butter for old this people. Isn't it butter. Legit what I was going to say. Well, not bad. Well, yeah. they're not good either. Okay. All right. But yeah, it's definitely not my go-to cookie. But, yeah, on eating it, I feel like I need to complain about millennials. Mm-hmm. <laughs> on the internet. Yeah, I'm grateful for any- anything. All caps. <laughs> All right, so, Hutch, you pick the next one we're going to do. Let's do the um, tree foils. The tree, tr- okay. tree, tree foils? Tree, tree foils. Tree foils. These are the traditional okay. shortbreads. I have had these before because these are something. I feel like some of these cookies I sold as a Girl Scout. Yep. I used to always have this growing well, up. I think Josh is actually closer to where you grew up yeah. than he is here. Okay. That makes sense then. Because mm-hmm. I do remember, I really like these because they were just shortbread cookies. Yeah. They were my grandpa's favorite. He'd always buy two boxes. This is one's so. nice because it is actually the Girl Scout cookie logo, <laughs> as well, or Girl Scout Girl Scout logo, the cookie itself. Yeah, not even creative messages. Get that out of here. Mm-hmm. So. I don't want to feel supported by my cookies. I want to feel shamed by them. That's right. <laughs> That's one good. Hmm. Mm. It's like, very simple. It's like classic bread. taste. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's a shortbread cookie. That's fun. Mm. Um, a lot of these I'm seeing like I would prefer them with something. Yeah, like something to dip into. Like uh, yeah, speed running cookies is not a good so way to far, live life. Those so far, they need milk. They've all been pretty dry. They've yeah. been very dry. Which is totally different from the cookies we have here. Yeah, yeah. like I'm used to them being wet cookies. Soft, <laughs> we got them wet the, cookies. Give me my wets. What? They're moist. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and get the yeah. Yeah, the, the toffee tastic. This is the gluten free uh, variety. Yuck. So this one was different. So we had a chocolate chip cookie that was our gluten free one. Mm. Yeah, their gluten free is Whoa. a. This is oh, it's just one thing. Yeah, it's a toffee tastic, rich buttery cookie with sweet country uh, crunchy toffee bits. Sweet country toffee. <laughs> that sweet country. This toffee. is this is a very sweet, thick and heavy cookie. Sweet country ham. <laughs> Right. You imagine just like ham in the middle of your cookie. I need a ham cookie. It's like dehydrated ham. 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 Now what ham sandwich? Oh boy. These okay might be them. good. They kind of look like pecan sandies or whatever. I'm yeah. not looking forward to this. No. Uh, based on my experience with the last gluten free cookie, it right. is a distressingly pale cook. Hmm. <laughs> ah. Oh, there's a. There's a fight. Hmm. Tastes good. Yeah. I like the toffee I like part these tastes better. good. These taste a lot better than the gluten-free ones. I don't want to eat it. Eating it is a chore. Yeah. No. They're using significant amounts of toffee to hide the fact that this cookie has no fucking texture. Mm-hmm. It's mm. kind of... It, it does remind me of like a pecan sandy, though. Mm. I'm not a fan, but I do like the toffee. Mm. I like toffee-flavored things in general. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Better than our gluten option, though, that's for sure. Yeah. Well, we've got... And... The traditional favorite, Thin Mints and Samoas and Tagalongs. Samoas. And, oh, wait and s'mores. Oh, yeah. And we got the s'mores. Uh, let's compare the s'mores, s'mores real quick. Okay. So our s'mores were like uh, more like a shortbread type cookie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This one looks like, right. like another sandwich cookie. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's definitely. Yeah, we have no sandwich cookies. Yeah. I don't know what's going on with. Why is there like the. Why oh, do you think boy. there is different cookies based on like where you are in the country? So, like a so that people will travel around and buy more cookies? <laughs> Maybe. Like what you did? <laughs> so this is nice. I was able to order this online and uh, have it shipped, which is great. You don't have to actually talk with anyone. So I've got, I think a boat. <laughs> so thanks, thanks Social Internet. Anxiety. <laughs> I've got, I think I have a boat on mine. Girl Scout s'mores on the other side. I think it's uh, Arrows. Okay. Yeah, I've got the uh, arrows as well. Okay. I have. Looks like an octopus fighting <laughs> a skeleton. Oh. I like this better than the mm. other s'mores. Uh, yeah, this s'more is way better. Oh, mm. yeah. This is cool. They're really good. Yeah, this tastes great. Oh, yeah, it's good. Mm-hmm. This tastes like a Keeper Elf cookie. Mm. Oh, this is Keeper fantastic. Elf mm. oh. Okay, the sugar just hit me. <laughs> <laughs> Some old guys on the show. Oh, God. <laughs> I like this a lot. 
This one's a lot fun, more fun to eat, mm-hmm. and it tastes great. Yeah. yeah. It's but, really sweet, though. Yeah, it's mm. super sweet. I'm into it. It's almost like cho- chocolate and marshmallow fluff is a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. And the cookie. Mm. I like it. All right. We got s'more, um, Samoas. We have this uh, Tagalongs, which is the chocolate cookie and peanut butter. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's try the Tagalongs. All right. Someone had a little issue with the box here, but that's okay. It's probably drunk in it. <laughs> it's all full of razor blades. Yeah, it's full of razor I'm blades. Ho- I'm hoping to drugs. find like a couple hundred dollar bills in here. <laughs> I can't wait until we get the drugs. Mm. How many cookies do I have to buy? Mm. My favorite of the... Uh, you know what's funny is I remembered in the last episode... My favorite of you know what's this. funny. Yeah. We remembered actually open all these your brain the last time we did yeah, Girl no, Scout cookies, did. and this time we completely forgot. <laughs> we're just like uh, we're just letting Hutch it's go ASMR. through. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it's that's Hutch. Hutch, mm. Hutch ASMR. Yeah. Hutch ASMR. Yeah. Yeah. Hutch ASMR. I want to go ahead because it's melting in my hand real quickly here. There you go. My food. I did. He licked all of them. Uh huh. These are called tagalongs. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is good. I like that. I don't like that. Look like at peanut butter Twix. This is like, nice. yeah, yeah, it's like a Reese's Cup Twix. Your mm-hmm. peanut butter is too soft. I like it soft. <laughs> Me too, Brittany. I like, I don't like crunchy. I like it thicker and crunchier. Or like, yeah, I like that's firm, thicker. Yeah, firm. I think. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's good. good though. Mm-hmm. No, it's too much peanut butter for me. I'm not a big peanut butter person, so. We've had a lot of peanut butter for you, then. That's two whole cookies. Yeah. Mm. This is the better of the two peanut butter cookies, though. I agree. Mm-hmm. Mm, this was, the other one was very dry, and that one was perfectly moist, in my opinion. Perfectly moist. Delicious and moist. Mm. All right. I like the other one better. Mm. What would you guys like to end on, Thin Mints or Samoas? Please, let's do Samoas now. Yep. So I can end on Thin Mints. <laughs> okay. So, so you I, can feel hope, love, and joy again? Yes, I, I'm, not, I'm not looking for Like, besides the gluten one, this is the one I'm looking for. I do least. not like that Hutch keeps making us run this cookie gauntlet. <laughs> <laughs> so, By the way, Hutch, you have to take all these home with you. I'm totally okay with that. Okay. So, yeah. Um, Please don't leave any here. Grind them up and put them in jugs <laughs> with lentils. <laughs> oh my god. So, I have to admit, this Samoa looks way more appetizing than our Samoa. This Samoa looks... This- it's darker. Yeah. It's been been more, toasted a bit. Yeah. Mm. Like that. I think it tastes the same. Yeah. I do too. What do you think, Brian? You're the one who eats coconut. I kind of like it. Mmm. <laughs> I can't. But here's the thing. Like, yeah, I'm going back and forth. Like, do I like this? Or is it just weird? Mm. Because I hate coconut. The coconut texture sucks. Mm. But compared to all the other cookies, this one ain't bad. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to eat another bite. Ooh. Mm. Look at him go. I feel like the coconut texture on this one, though, is very slight. Mm-hmm. It's so toasted, it's kind of crunchy. Mm-hmm. This one's better. I like this one. Mm. That's wild. Well... I hate coconut. It's wild that I like this cookie. Brian's shook. I am shook. Mm. This is way better. Well, we've got one more to go. Here we go with the Thin Mints. Mm. So these are called the same Ooh. Thin Mints as the other ones. They call them Thin Mints down here, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These, but, are, these are chocolate-coated as well. I didn't think that they were looking at it, but... So it's supposedly different, though. Mm-hmm. You can tell because it has five holes in it. I don't, mm. know what that I don't means. think ours has holes in it at all. So yeah, like yeah, know. ours doesn't have holes in it at all. It smells awesome. It looks like a Ritz cracker dipped in chocolate. Yes, it does. What if it is? That'd be great. Hmm, <laughs> it's definitely like crispier. <clears throat> this is the thin Got man the I remember. Burps. This is the thin yeah. man I remember. Mm. Me too. This is way better. I'm going to order good. these. Mm. <laughs> I've been looking for this cookie. Every time we get 10 minutes, I'm like, this is good. It tastes all right. It's not as good as I remember. I always thought it was because maybe I'm just older or some shit. This is the cookie I remember. <laughs> I'm old and bitter and things aren't as sweet as they used to yeah, be. Yeah, <laughs> I thought, I legitimately thought that. But no, this is just the cookie I remember. And I, for, I didn't realize that. Yeah. 
No good. This is awesome. This is way better. Mm. Thank you, Josh. It's definitely crispier. Mm, thank you. Yeah. And thank you, Hutch, for buying them. Oh, you bought yeah. them all. No problem. I'm happy to happy to help out a uh, a um, Girl Scout. <laughs> you're so. I love how you're like trying to be noble about this and, and like glossing over the fact that you now have a bunch of cookies in your house that you're gonna eat. I'm so happy, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy that you have them because me and Brittany took forever to get through those other ones. So. Yeah, it will not take me long, which is like the worst part about it. <laughs> we um. No, no, just lay on the ground, go full Garfield. Yeah, basically. All right, All right so this is my perfect case, uh, case situation now. I want the lemonades that we get, mm-hmm. and I want the thin mints that I can order online. Yeah, and I'll be damned. I might actually eat a Samoa or two. Hmm. I actually really like the Samoa. Really? That's some wild shit. I fucking hate coconut, but that Samoa is yeah. good. It's like a it breaks it up. Yeah. I That's think my least favorite one was either the tag along or the that grandma cookie. <laughs> Which grandma cookie? Dosey dos. Oh, oh yeah. The um the toffee ones definitely. Like I just the texture was not for me. I thought so, I like the toffee ones better than. So we legit our ones. shortbread <laughs> cookies are way better than what is offered here. Like the shortbread and the thanks a lots and the, uh, so they were out. They were out of the shortbread cookies when we yeah, bought yeah, yeah. all of ours mm. last time. They and, were just out of the and th- those are a lot better than what's offered in this other these other places that don't offer what we have. Mm. But um, is there like more it. Girl Scout cookies that are different, or is that it? Is There's it two like different like kinds two in different America. Kinds? Okay, what. Well, I wonder why why they do I it like see that. The line that divides the country. What's it's the really the weird. Cookie Dixon line? Yeah. <laughs> so it, there's like little splotches here and there. It's really you know, weird. they just randomly are like mm. like North- if the town zip code ends in an odd number, they get these cookies. I think, it's, I think it's more country and city. What if it? What if there's a splinter group of Girl Scouts mm-hmm. trying to subvert the Girl Scout hierarchy? Ooh. Like a like a splinter, ooh, and they're trying to trying to do a Girl Scout coup just to get their cookies instead. This is my new head cannon. You can't mm. you cannot <laughs> stop me from thinking yeah. this. I love these Girl Scouts uh, conspiracy theories. These yeah. Girl Scout conspiracy theories. There we go. We got our keyword. Dog Keep watching the video. Business. <laughs> Dog business. That's right. All right. Mm. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Cookie burps. Do you want to watch Heat Wave before anyone else? Well, there's an easy way to do that. Just back us up on Patreon at patreon.com slash half empty tank and be the first to watch the episodes. Hi, welcome back for the last segment for this week's episode of Heat Wave. And we're going to talk about something that I've been kind of obsessed with and spending way too much money on. And that is retro gaming consoles, both new and old. Nice. So um, lately, Brittany, are you excited for this? I'm super excited. <laughs> Brittany I'm is tired like, of me buying I'm like, these. What came in the mail this time, Brian? What expensive thing did you buy? And then he tells me about it, and then I glaze over, and I'm like, <laughs> "Sounds cool." And then I leave. <laughs> A Philips CDI. Oh, wonderful! I've always wanted one. <laughs> That's not always true. I do get you some things for your N64 sometimes. Yeah, you did get me a thingy that I'm not sure a rumble pack to talk about on the internet if it's illegal. <laughs> no, you can talk about it. I've got, I hope we can talk about them because the three of them are sitting on the desk. What if the please don't watch Nintendo- the FBI? <laughs> what if the Nintendo FBI is watching <laughs> and they arrest us? The NBI. The NBI. <laughs> God. <laughs> Nintendo. I, you know, if anyone, if anyone would do they that, have the it's Nintendo, Nintendo SWAT team. Yeah, they just come in and rip all, rip all my Pokemon cross stitches <laughs> off the wall. <laughs> Tell me it's copyright infringement. They're just like, they've got a knife and they're just slashing through all of them. Yeah. I think I would legit cry if I saw that. Like, Britney's work and shit, I would, like, be super pissed. <laughs> No. But no, let's start with the one retro console that we've actually done stuff with with yours. Your retro console is a legit like Nintendo yeah, 64 that a, we've modded. It's a Jungle Green in 64 that we've modded. Um, it has for the HDMI, HDMI output. output. Uh-huh. And it has the Ultra HDMI uh, mod. It has and the Ultra HDMI mod. <laughs> we did some LED mods on it. And we LED also mods. have an EverDrive mod. Wait, does it, does it do RGB? Yes, it does. Roy Great. G. Biv. It's a colorful man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, my N64 is really cool. Um, they also, my favorite part is that 
the guy took it apart and boiled it and like made it really nice and clean and then put it back together. He boiled? That's yeah. the way to get it clean. Yeah. 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 That gets all the dirt and everything yeah. off so of it. So that made me really excited and I just want to like pay him to all boil everything I own and just clean it really good. <laughs> it's so satisfying. Mm. But he doesn't take commissions anymore or something. because mm. He like, only does certain things now. I, yeah. I saw a video of a uh, person who bought a uh, Game Boy color on ebay for like two dollars because it was like really fucked up mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. had a lot of bad it was atomic purple had a lot of yellowing he put a bath of mm-hmm. uh, basically uh, uh alcohol. alcohol yeah, yeah. and uh wrapped some uh leds set it to ultraviolet and then yeah let it go and then apparently that that does it too yeah that's yeah, how that's, that's cool. the de-yellowing process yeah um so a lot of super nintendos go through that process the occasional dreamcast goes through that process <laughs> uh this uh Famicom uh, AV unit went through that process. Oh, the it's family been computer. Cleaned. Yeah. So um, squeaky. A, a lot of people w- might recognize this as a, an NES top loader, but it's uh, actually a Japanese NES top loader. The reason why I got that is because the Japanese NES top loader had the classic uh, Nintendo hookup on the back that everyone's Super Nintendo got. But the American one only had RF out exclusively. Mm. And with this, this one was way easier to mod to have RGB out and work with the Frame Meister. So, so that's the same connector it's been on since uh, up until I think the this, GameCube. Yep. And that was the beginning yeah. of it. That was yeah. the first system to have it. Cool. Um, so I got that. And that's why we have a Famicom instead of a regular mm-hmm. top loader. We did that. We, uh, most of all of these beginnings started with one weird ass thing. So I was always an emulation guy. Yeah. You still are. Yeah. Um, and when we started Mega Manathon, we'd have all these speedrunners and all these people who needed <clears throat> specific equipment to get things done. Right. And also, like, for legality reasons, every game that we have is a legit copy of the right. game. Yeah. Um, so when we run things, like, even if we are running something through, like, an EverDrive, for example, we, we keep, own we, a own, we own a game. copy of everything yeah. Mega Man related. Yeah. And so... Um, with that though, we had to start getting all these weird machines. Yeah. So uh, almost every machine that I don't have like a weird HDMI version of it, mm-hmm. there's a modded version. So our GameCube's HDMI modded, our Dreamcast is HDMI modded, the N64 is <coughs> HDMI modded. Yeah. Everything else we use a Frame Meister. Um, but lately, I've been addicted to a single company called Analog. Okay. What is Analog? <clears throat> Analog. This makes, episode brought to you by Analog. Yeah. <laughs> uh, pro- I mean, I've paid them enough money the last couple of months. See if you can get an affiliate link. Right? I'm going to. I'm going to hit them up. Um, but I recently picked up their uh, me- uh, Mega SG. This uh, console right here allows you to play Sega Genesis games and Sega Master System games and Sega Game Gear games. It has HDMI out. And it just, it just fucking works. Can I touch? Yeah, go ahead. And it's absolutely one of my favorite consoles. It's built <laughs> super solid. And it's got an SD card slot. Yeah, yeah, which allows you to do other <clears throat> things of uh, various legality, legal uh, purposes. Um, but uh, what I've done That's more is, solidly built than I expected. Exactly. That right there is a $200 reproduction cart. Now, or console. But the difference is, instead of it being like an emulation system, it's not. It's using an FPGA core to emulate the hardware. Oh, <clears throat> interesting. <clears throat> so it just works. It's a wow. it just works. And it the same thing works. here with the Super NT, which is the Super Nintendo. Um, it's the basically the same whole concept, except uh, the one difference is the Mega SG had one extra feature. This would allow you to work with your Sega CD, your real Sega CD. Wow. Because it has a little feature right here. So it could actually connect <laughs> right into the real <laughs> Sega CD. Which was very Sega of them. Does does it also work with the 32X? It does not work with the 32X currently. Mm. Now, something that I've already ordered and it's on the way. <laughs> I'm sorry, Brittany. Is the analog DAC, Sweet which Jesus. is a digital analog <laughs> converter. Okay. Mm. So what it does is it goes uh, does outputs from the HDMI here. Mm. You'll be able to put a 32X on it, connect it to the DAC, and then that will have an analog output signal that still works. Mm. And all of these are pretty much near perfection when it comes to the hardware output and how it <clears throat> reacts just like the original hardware. <clears throat> I am kind of amazed at how much 
technology and understanding went into reverse engineering this stuff and making a shittier gameplay experience yeah like in some ways it is for examples you can uh you can get it to where like for example there's no slowdown with like an nes game or something like that that is a thing but it's uh, you can and you can set it those settings, but people consider that part of the experience. Yeah, yeah. So like Mega Man Three, for example, has a shit ton of slowdown. Yeah, and people can't play it when it has doesn't have it. it. They just that. like they don't have that pacing. Now, these are FPGA consoles. This right here, on the other hand, is just a straight up re uh recasing of a console or a handheld console. So this is my GBA consoleizer. I just got this. Brittany, and- have you ever thought to yourself, I want to play a handheld game, but I want to play it on a big TV and I don't want it to be small. Um every fucking day of my life. Well, let me interest you <laughs> in this Game Boy Advance consoleizer. You want to know the first thing I played on it was Shrek 2. <laughs> the movie. The, the movie. movie. Not the game. Me and Brittany, the very first thing we did is we streamed Shrek 2. Shrek 2 on the Game Boy Advance video cart. Yep. Which is the entire movie in 160p. And it moves at 15 frames per second. Um, it will give you a headache after <laughs> watching the it whole took, thing. It took a while to watch it because we would look at each other. It was so friends. pixelated. I'm pretty sure I could cross stitch any frame from that movie. <laughs> I think you should. <laughs> Just do a flip book, a fabric flip book of oh Shrek Oh my 2. God, oh my that God. would be amazing. <laughs> That'd be or, h- hilarious considering how off the colors are. <laughs> <laughs> or you could just make like giant patches of shots of Shrek 2. <laughs> All pixelated. Like, <laughs> like, this is from the Game Boy Advance. <laughs> Honestly, I would be thrilled if you did any of this bullshit. Yeah, that's really cool. Like, that's way too much work, but oh my god. We thought that the 151 original Pokemon was going to be my magnum opus. <laughs> nope. Nope. It's doing a fabric flip book of Shrek 2. The movie. <laughs> the movie. Um, but that's not it. <sighs> That's, that's not all. <laughs> One of the things that I bought this for was so that me, Hutch, Brittany, and Juggle Boy could do a four-player run of the uh, Legend of Zelda Four Swords mm-hmm. and have capture all five sources. So there's a Game Boy, and then four ga- uh, I mean four Game Boy sources and one GameCube source. And we were going to capture all five of those uh, during our playthrough and do like some special Let's Play, but that is unlikely. So you're not going to buy three more of these? No, because on um, I've had actually a little bit of trouble with the video output on this thing. It's not... Um, this thing has been... It kind of works. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I have to go through specific area, uh, areas for it to like the HDMI to work with like different products. That being said, the people that made these two consoles, the Super Nintendo Mega uh, SG, they are coming out with a new handheld called the Analog Pocket, hmm. which plays Game Boy Advance games, Game Boy games, Atari Lynx games. Um, it plays just about every handheld you've ever played, Game right. Gear, everything. Mm-hmm. And it is going to be... Are you excited to own four of these? Um, what's the thing that you just bought last night? Oh, well, I bought... so. This is the thing that they they use, the one of their first projects was the uh, analog NT. Mm-hmm. The analog NT was a uh, NES where they actually took the uh, board of an NES, kind of like this GBA consoleizer, and they added HDMI to it in okay. a really nice pristine package. It was like a thousand dollars. Yeah. Um, they came out later <laughs> with another thing called the NT Mini. Mm-hmm. Which was an FPGA core Nintendo NES, like these other ones, but had a metal aluminum casing, and it had both HDMI out and analog output. And because of all that, it was pretty expensive. Mm-hmm. Um, and it sold out, and now it was going for the last like couple years. They haven't been making it, and it's gone up from like a thousand dollars to two thousand dollars to three thousand dollars sold on eBay. Because it's such a really great piece of machine. Yeah. They just said, okay, we're going to do one final run. And I bought it. I was just like, fuck it. I sold my AVS yesterday. Like, as my AVS was my my uh, 
It was pretty new. <clears throat> My, like, I just bought it, and then they just announced they were doing a final run. And you were like, ah! So yeah. I sold it to, like, make up some of the difference <laughs> of it. But, yeah, so I've bought just about every analog pocket, so or analog I was like, product pieces. I can. He literally got this one thing in three this weeks is ago. The pocket. <laughs> That's pretty it's pretty. A, and, but, like a Switch, it docks, and you can play it on TV. Space docks. Oh, nice. So... Yeah, it actually Okay, I hadn't seen it. the dock for some reason. Yeah, the huh. dock actually... Uh, Ask him what his favorite game is to play on all of these. What's your favorite game to play on all of these? Shrek 2? I don't no. know. What? Sonic? Will of Fortune. <laughs> okay, so that's fair. Um, I have been playing all of these like TV game shows <laughs> on all of these lately. And I have played through Will of Fortune on the Super Nintendo Deluxe Edition <laughs> uh, probably about five or six <clears throat> times now. Wow. I, I come home and I just, <laughs> just fucking chill and You're play Wheel of Fortune. just relax with a good old fashioned game of Wheel of Fortune. We, it is we just, so we just have that really awesome. fun like 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 uh, game show game night and then you just never stop playing yeah. <laughs> since well, that, no, that is No, I bought so many. I have so many game show cards now. Wow. That's um, awesome. And so many different versions of Jeopardy. Oh man! Would you like, like a copy of Deal or No Deal? No. <laughs> because you already have it. You bought me that. I did. For, you got two what, bucks. three copies for two dollars? Something, something like that. Shit? Yeah, it's like, this is insane. <laughs> Walmart's basically like bundling like five for like two dollars. Get rid of them. We got too much Howie Mandel here. He's got to go. We had a really great this place stream is though. now haunted because of all of these pictures of Howie Mandel. It was such a bizarre fucking game, and it's so bad. It's a Nintendo it's real DS game. Bad. I've streamed it once when I got my 3ds. Hey, my 3D modded 3ds for capture unit. Um, I played fucking no deal, uh, deal or no deal on stream, and for like a total of fifteen God. minutes, and I had people watch. The internet's weird. You guys are weird, and we, I, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching us. <laughs> like, but some, around yeah, <laughs> but I'm you <laughs> weird. The rip cord on that conversation <laughs> yeah. real quick. But uh, yeah, still so, my favorite stream moment is you taking a, a pair of scissors and then put, putting it through the hole of another pair of scissors, whirling it around and saying, "Guys, guys, I am putting this on the internet. And you are watching it." <laughs> I went to the bathroom during a craft stream and I was like, "Hey, Brian, you need to go over for a couple minutes while I go pee," and that's what he did. My just, favorite internet moment is you just sitting all alone in a room and you just take peanut butter and start spraying it on your. <laughs> it was the best highlight. It was way better. There was than what like I did. no context to it because I just started the, the highlight. Where like you were just sitting out by yourself and just. Yeah. <laughs> Brian so, said, "Keep me entertained." I was like, "Okay." Oh, <laughs> so that started from uh, someone paid me money to turn me into a sandwich. That's a fetish. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> so what I did was I put peanut butter on two slices of bread, right? Mm. And I did a dance and slapped them on each side of my head. And I was a sandwich after that. How fun was that to clean out of your beard? Hair and beard. It was real mm. bad. Well, while he was cleaning it out, that's when Hutch decided to sit down and have <laughs> yeah. them a little Hutch and, show. Uh, <laughs> but yours was so much better because you were just staring into the camera and smearing <laughs> peanut butter onto your head. And I walked in. I was like, what the what fuck link. is happening? <laughs> oh, yeah. We have a highlight. Mm. Kept it casual. And so it was, it was trying so to do. bizarre. That's the one thing I do miss about streaming at your house right now. I was like, just random ass shit like that would happen. Yeah. Sorry, I'm not up to par on that. No, you're usually just yelling at me like, you're too loud! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I do miss all the, um, <laughs> I forgot, um, Frank uh, being an asshole, and then you guys having to put him in the sweater, and that just makes me <laughs> so amused. <laughs> Emotional support sweater. Yeah. And that's my favorite video game, retro video game console. <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, I'm really excited about these. I've gone down a deep rabbit hole. So th I have a complaint about that one, which yes. you said plays Sega Master System games, uh -huh. but it doesn't play all Sega Master System games because I don't see a card reader it on it. It does have one. Ooh. I have an adapter for the card reader. I can pull that out, but I just didn't want to pull it out. <laughs> He's so proud. Also, this right here. He'll pull it out. Also, this right here is a another EverDrive, but what this also has is an FPGA 
inside of it. Oh. And this allows you to not have to use a Sega CD to play Sega CD <laughs> games. Mm. Oh. So this is my this plays Sega CD games, Master System games, even the card ones without any extra hardware. That's wild. So I've been using that. These EverDrives have lots of really great extra tools and there's so many great like Sega CD games that I would have passed on if I like didn't have this. Does the uh Super NT Mini have a card slot? Um, the Super NT Mini? Oh, the, the one that's coming out. Uh, the, the NT pocket, Mini. The Pocket. No, the NT Mini. The, the $500 it board. It has a Famicom and an NES slot and an expansion port for the Famicom disk drive. Okay, so it does, but it doesn't have like a card slot, like like SD card slot. Oh, yeah, they, they all do. This yep. one does too. Okay. They all have that. Gotcha. They okay. all have the SD card slot. So technically, like, if you jailbreak them, you don't need an EverDrive, but I still use them. Yeah. So, okay. So if you jailbreak this one, it could potentially all of them, play. All Sega. of them have jailbreaks. Oh, so I, I could play Sega CD games on this boy. Technically, yeah. Okay. But I mean, but through yeah. the SD card, yeah. And it's not as ideal. Yeah. Okay. But otherwise, if you were playing uh, like a like a ROM off of a card on this thing, mm-hmm. um, it would still be treated as if it were uh, running it off of the actual hardware mm-hmm. rather than mm-hmm. an emulated. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, okay. So there, you can actually change. The, uh, there's cores that you install. Mm. So, for example, I have a Genesis Master System Colelico Vision and Game Gear core installed on this one, uh-huh. and there's all those all are just turn the system from Genesis to those systems. Yeah, and that's how it, it runs. So it's not really emulation. It's really bizarre. Yeah, mm. very cool. But I'm um, on a nerd corner. I'm starting to get a little bit of FOMO <laughs> for for that uh, for that NES one. Uh oh. Hutch has FOMO. I really don't need it. Really Go to Slick Deal, it. see if they have three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, well, guys. Go on AliExpress, buy a case of them. <laughs> God. So I'll this just go on Wish. Why not? <laughs> so, this company's based out of Seattle. Okay. First of all, it's an American company. It's America. America. Fuck yeah. They, pay, they paid in America to do all this programming. They Thank you, Ketris. They paid in America. So, anyways. That's it. Bye, everybody. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.